thinking about the future of this channel a lot. You know, what I could do, what I shouldn't do, if I should shut it down, if I should make it grow. And some opinions of other people help me out too, but I know that there's one thing that I don't want to do with this channel. I'm Steve the Missionary, and I don't want to be a Catholic speaker. Okay, to be clear, if you want to pay me to come to your thing and give a talk, email me at notinthewind at gmail.com. I think the fact that we put speakers and preachers in front of crowds to talk about Jesus is actually a good thing. But I give one or two decent enough talks. I mean, they're good enough for the people I talk to. But the idea of my job is to schedule and plan and go to and do these talks about Jesus to crowds of Catholics full time and that's my only source of making a living. No, I don't want to do that at all. I have a couple of reasons that I think this. The first is that sounds exhausting. I don't want to do that. Second reason is that the more of a professional evangelist I become, the less of an actual evangelist I become, that's a problem. And you'll notice this when you hear recordings of talks and stuff like that. The best Catholic speakers are the ones that have a day job. They're the ones that I run this ministry at my parish, I run this thing in my town, I do this ministry thing, and I learn from that and I talk to people about it. Those are the best ones, the ones that have developed speaking skills on the side because they do hand-to-hand -hand ministry on the ground. Those are the people I want to hear from and I would not be that if I was a full-time Catholic speaker. And the third reason is a little bit more complicated, but it goes something like this. We have turned the image of the ideal Christian Christian to be a Catholic speaker. And that's a huge problem. I don't think we did this on purpose, but we definitely got ourselves into a situation where young people particularly, when they think about what a Christian should be, look like, sound like, they picture somebody that's on a stage giving them a talk about what a Christian should be, look like, and sound like. Instead of creating people who want to spread the gospel and build the kingdom and serve the poor, you're creating people who want to be effective at talking about spreading the gospel, building the kingdom, serving the poor. For example, I've met some students at some of these like very proud of their Catholicism Catholic schools, and they're getting degrees in like catechetics or theology and stuff like that. And one of them I asked, what do you want to do with this degree? And they said, I want to be a Catholic speaker as a career choice. This is really hard to do. And it's extremely hard to do well. And then on top of that, no matter how authentic and honest we're trying to be, we will always be presenting a curated image. A curated image of ourselves and a curated image of our Christianity. Now, I get it. You have to do that. The gospel demands the best of us. It demands quality. It's also impossible to talk to more than one person and be thoroughly uncurated. But I am just not skillful enough to go into that sort of world and not add to the problem. Some people are not me. We have to learn to start shifting the spotlight of what a Catholic looks like away from the speakers, as important as they are, and toward the doers, toward the people doing the hands-on Christian work. People who are growing up Catholic and people who haven't even touched Catholicism before need more images of what Catholicism can be and look like. This is one of the reasons why One Billion Stories was such a big deal when it was happening. Seth was going around biking across the country filming random people being Catholic. Almost none of them were like the Catholic speaker or the Catholic musician. But they were all being really authentic and attempting to follow the gospel and it was beautiful. It highlighted these wonderful things. I don't want to be a Catholic speaker. I want to be a good Catholic. I suck at it, but that's what I want. And very few of us should actually want to be that kind of speaker. It's not an easy life. If you're traveling, you're away from your family, it sucks. We should all want to be good Catholic and know that we suck at it, so we find examples and mentors a little closer to home to help us do that. I've got mine, I really hope you have yours. And if you don't have a mentor or an example closer to you, find one and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe Steve the Missionary. Find me on Twitter, Steve Missionary. Find me on Facebook, Steve the Missionary. Go to the Pathios blog, pathios.com slash blog slash Steve the Missionary. I will see you on the internets.